What is up? Welcome to another episode of Miller's Menu here on YouTube. Today we're going to be making chicken wings right here on the Blackstone. That's right, chicken wings. Tommy want wingy. Tommy likey. Tommy want wingy. So today we're going to be making a sweet barbecue version with um, the sauce from a local restaurant. Fantastic. Link in the description. You won't be disappointed. But before we get into the ingredients, I'm hoping you guys can hear me. The cicadas are crazy. We're about the end of it. I'm hoping that it's about done. But if you can't hear me or you hear a bunch of background noise, that's what that's going on. So let's get into the ingredients and start cooking. All right, here are the ingredients. Pretty easy. Just a bag of chicken wings from Kroger. They've been thawing for a day or so. Uh, a seasoning blend. Not going to use too much of it, but it does have salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika little bit of flour and baking soda we'll get into how much in a second but the star of the show in my opinion is going to be the barbecue sauce it's from a local restaurant here called buffalo louis uh, the link is in the description if you want to try it this is their award-winning um, sweet q i don't like super hot so this works perfect they do have many different sauces available on their website to ship to you if you want to try it if you from Bloomington area, you know what Buffalo Louis is. It's fantastic. So we'll be using that today. So that's the ingredients. Let's get preparing. So the key to a really crispy chicken wing, in my opinion, is the drier the better, especially when you're starting, okay? So I like to lay them out on a paper towel and then we're just going to blot them and um, make sure that pat them dry with a paper towel and make sure that they are super super dry so you're gonna take them just kind of move them around and dry them off make sure they're nice and dry and then we're gonna set them in there and what this does it allows the the seasoning to set on it and then it also is drier so then when you go to cook it in the oil it'll actually crisp up and not just be a hot um, wing it will actually uh, crisp up and and give you kind of that fried uh, wing flavor or look to it All right, once you have that done, what you're going to do is take your seasoning and just going to pinch it and drizzle it over it. We're not giving it a ton of flavor, but we do want to season the chicken. The barbecue sauce is going to be the star of it, but your chicken still needs some flavor. So it's not going to end up being a ton of flavor, so go a little more than you would think you would need. And then what we want to do is do the same thing with the flour and the baking soda. And what that does is it allows the, uh, gives it something to, to crisp up other than just the skin. So flip them all. And you're not coating them. We're not making them breaded chicken wings. So we're not, you know, dipping them in or doing the double dunk or anything like that. All right, and there you have it. Just nice, lightly covered um, chicken wings, and we'll get them out on the griddle. All right, we've got the griddle turned on, getting ready to go. The middle here, I have mine upgraded so the back half gets real hot versus the front half. I'm letting it cool back down, but the back half is about 450 right now. The front's about 375. So we're gonna put them on the front, let them set, and then move them to the back as we need to. But before we get those on, we're going to get the barbecue sauce going. So we're just going to take this, pour it right in the... Pour it right in the pan. 
Again, the link to the restaurant is in the description. They are great people, locally owned, and they make, more importantly, fabulous food. So we're going to let this um, start heating up right over here. We're going to take our oil and make a pull of it right here on the front. And that's where we're going to set our wings at. Put the wings on and then I can get rid of these gloves. This is going to be one of those cooks where not all of them are done at the exact same time. So you're just going to have to be paying attention. There's not a whole lot of hard work here and it, there is a lot of downtime. But you do have to pay attention and check each individual chicken wing to make sure that it's on temperature. All right, we have them laid out. We're going to let them go for the fr on the front side or on the first side for about three minutes or so, and then we're going to turn it over. All right, they're cooking. They've just started. You can hear them sizzling and popping. Just make sure that they're in a a uh, little pile of oil so it's not just burning directly onto the griddle and while you're doing it make sure that you hydrate got some runaway uh, oil so we're just going to bring it back I've only got one camera angle today. Not sure if I'm going to show the bloopers, but uh, my wife's not home, so I don't have her phone to film with. So I was trying to use my daughter's iPad. Couldn't get it set up. I was climbing in the rafters and everything. So I might put a clip of that in. Like I said, you're, it's a nice, simple downtime. You're going to have time to talk to people if they're here and you're partying, uh, hydrating again. So just let them go for three minutes or so, and then we'll flip them. And then we'll let that side go. And then you check the internal temp and just turn occasionally after that. And then when they're almost there, then we'll put the, the sauce on them, get them all gooey and tasting good and all hot and melded together and then we'll pull them off and eat them never fails it's a monday afternoon i'm cooking like 3 30 ish and the neighbor starts mowing no matter what time of day what day of the week i start filming somebody around starts um, mowing or in the past i my very first video i had the farmer come through and plant soybeans in the very first episode that I've ever filmed here. So never fails, something goes on in the background. These cicadas are crazy. I'm hoping they're gone soon, but they're flying all over and they're super loud. So apologies again for that if uh, that's all you're hearing on this video. But of course I don't have a timer. So it's been about three minutes. So we're gonna take them and turn them over. They are starting to crisp up on that other side, which is what you want. We'll turn them over again, but I'll take one up to the camera since I don't have a second angle when I get these all done. So you can see that they're starting to crisp up on that side there. Chicken wing down.
The deck's pretty clean. We'll put that one out there and I'll eat that one myself. All right, you'll notice that I have a lid back here. Sometimes we put them under the lid at the end to finish the temp. Sometimes we don't. It just depends on the temperature of the griddle and the kind of crisp you're getting on the outside before it gets done. So if we get done and they're all crispy but they're only at 150 degrees, we'll throw them under the hood so it cooks the inside without crisping up or burning the outside any. All right, it's been about four minutes on this side. I turned the griddle way down to get it under control when it got real hot when I was setting up and it got a little cool so it's going to take a little longer than it normally would but we're going to go ahead and turn them again um, it's been about four minutes you I can tell that they're not close to being done so we're not going to check the temperature quite yet but we'll just rotate them one more time let them cook for a little bit longer then we'll start checking the temp and getting them there okay I say okay like you're going to disagree with me. I mean, I guess you could disagree with me, but what are you going to do? Turn off the video? Or are you going to just tell me, yell at your TV or your phone? I mean, whatever. This one right here is the one I dropped on the deck, so I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to show, eat it um, by itself actually and see uh, how it goes without any sauce on it. And then I can show you exactly how crispy they are and things like that as well. Give it a few more minutes and we'll uh, check the temperature. Just a reminder, chicken needs to be at 165 or you'll get sicky sicky. So this one back here that's been hanging out by itself is 160 so it's real close but I suspect these drum legs aren't all that close. Well they're about 10 degrees off there. They're a lot closer than I thought. They're about five degrees off of being 165. This one here is all the way down to 140 and the rest are 155 or so. So we'll let that one cook a little longer. Find some meat on this one. It's all bone. We have our first one at 165 so we'll throw it over here. We're going to start getting done a little bit at a little bit different times so we're going to put them over there when they get done like I said that side has been on but it's off right now so it's it's going to keep them warm but it's not going to overcook them this little guy should be done then oh, 164 we'll let him hang out with his friends Did you ever think you'd be watching YouTube, just watching some guy check the temperature of chicken wings? Me either. Wild world we're living in. Like I said earlier, um, they're crispy. They're just not up to temperature. So sometimes we, it happens, especially today when I turn the heat, heat down. When it, you're filming, the intro takes longer than you want. Then I try to get that second camera angle. It just didn't work out. So the griddle got super hot. So then I got it turned it almost completely off so it got too cold so it's just a weird combination today so we're just going to throw them under the hat here for a couple minutes and let them uh, bring up the temperature without burning the outside of it all right they've been under the hat for the hood for a couple minutes so let's check the temperature they should have come up quite a bit 
all of those chicken wings up front here are done. We're just waiting on this stubborn one here to get up to 165. 62, 63, 64, 64, 65. All right. They are all up to temperature 165. So what I've done is I've moved them around the griddle and I've scraped all of the oil and all the fat and whatever has come off of it because you don't want that in it. And you're just going to take your barbecue sauce so you could be do hot sauce and you're going to pour it directly on top of them and what we're going to do is take the spatula and just toss it in it remember the barbecue sauce is hot the chicken wings are cooked so all we're doing is coating them and kind of getting them to marinate together All right, so when we do that, we're gonna take them and plate them. Let's see if I can get them on here without making a huge mess. Right, not usually a stickler for cleaning the griddle in the middle of the video, but this there is a lot of sugar in this uh, barbecue sauce, so I want to make sure that I get it before it caramelizes too much on the griddle. And make cleaning easier at the end. Why it's hot and not caramelized, you can just scrape it right down into the grease trap. I was going to do a special video at the end about how to clean the griddle when it's super nasty with um, caramelized like barbecue sauce or something on it, but you just saw it. There's nothing left on the griddle now. So turn the griddle completely off. Let's get a picture of these and then we'll try them and we'll get out of here. All right, we got them cooked. It was about a beer and a half cooked today, so that's a long cook for us. But we have to stay hydrated, especially on hot days like today. So we got our crispy wings. We got our fantastic buffalo sweet barbecue sauce on it. We're going to try them. Mmm. So good. These chicken wings from Kroger are... They're called party style or something. They're nice and thick and a lot of chicken on it. They're fantastic. They're really crispy. The sweet barbecue sauce is so great. I can't tell you how good this sauce is. So do yourself a favor. Even if you don't like sweet barbecue, go onto their website, Buffalooies. It's in the link in the description below. They have a ton of different sauces you can order. They are all fantastic. This one happens to be my favorite. So go and check them out. That's all the video I've got for you today. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have not already, please consider subscribing and then give us a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Rusty Miller and we're out.